Hello, members of Amspirit Business Connections. My name is Lisa Raymond. I'm an area director out in the Phoenix Rising region. What I wanted to show you today, just in a quick video, was how to input your referrals that you want to give to your members online versus using the paper form. Some of the members in one of our chapters expressed the idea that they really didn't want to use the paper and they couldn't really use it if they were out of town, say working or whatnot, and they wanted to still be able to give referrals. So I'll show you an easy way where we can go online on the website and make a referral happen. Okay. What you'll do is you'll come to amspirit.com and go to the members only area and then log in. <clears throat> and once you log in into the member area, you'll come down to under members only to the chapter referral input. From here, you'll see that there's referrals going on. If you're the member, it'll show you how many you've given or received. You should see numbers here. What we're gonna do today is add a referral. So I'm gonna click this link here that says add referral on the left. And now this looks a little bit like the paper referral that you're used to seeing. You can make sure that you have your chapter selected. So I'm gonna keep my home chapter here. Make sure you have the correct date. If you don't click on the date area, you can backtrack it or you can go forward. It doesn't matter. Otherwise, it will take it from the date that is current on your computer, which today is February 24th. From the giving member, that would be you. I'm going to come down to my name here. You can list it as a qualified referral or a guest. I'm going to qualified referral. Now this looks a little bit more like our paper form that you're familiar with. You can either refer yourself as a first generation or second generation. And there are radio buttons, so you can only choose one. You can do this within your home chapter to one of your members, or if it's a cross chapter from a, a chapter outside of your own. And again, radio buttons, so you can only select one. If you do select the cross chapter, you will be asked which chapter. So that way that chapter can get credit. Who is this going to? Which member? So if it's in your home chapter, then you would select the member in your chapter. If it's a cross chapter, then you have to find the chapter, choose Arlington, and then select one of the members. And I'm just going to pick on Dean because I know him. <laughs> After that, you can click save and add another. Save and exit, which will take you out of the computer system. Save and produce a report in my case because I can produce a chapter performance report. I'm not going to. I could also reset the form if I've decided I've made a mistake somewhere. I could just click that and just reset and start over. Stop the share and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, please reach out to your area director or to Teresa at assistant at mspirit.com.